Configuring a POP email account in Outlook 2016. This video assumes you already have an existing email account created with your host or email provider, or you've created your own in your own hosting control panel. Now let's learn how to configure Outlook with your existing email account using the POP email protocol. Click the File tab, then click Add Account. Enter the email address you want to set up, then click Advanced Options. Click to set the account up manually, then click Connect. Click the POP option. This is where you have to define your server settings for both your incoming and your outgoing mail. For these settings, you should refer to the documentation where you have your email account set up. Some common server settings are mail.yourdomain.com or simply yourdomain.com, where yourdomain.com is everything after the at symbol in your email address. Once you know what they should be, enter your incoming server name. Choose whether your server requires an encrypted connection. Then make sure you have the correct incoming mail port number entered. If you choose an encrypted connection, then your incoming port number for the POP protocol should be 995. Otherwise, it should be 110. Next, enter your outgoing server name. Again, make sure you check your email documentation for exactly what this should be. Choose your outgoing encryption method. If you choose SSL TLS encryption, which is recommended in most cases, your port number should be 465 for outgoing mail. Otherwise, port 587 is commonly used for unencrypted outgoing mail. Click Next. Enter the password for your email account, then click Connect. That's it! We've successfully configured Outlook to send and receive email using our email account. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to configure Outlook with your existing mail account using the POP protocol.